Hey guys, how's it going? Got a new inverter here. It's a 4,000 watt, and I got this from Southern Ohio DIY Solar Power. He's on YouTube. I'm going to put a link in the video description for his channel. He sent this to me, and here we got an inverter. It's a 4,000 watt, and I'm just showing you the insides versus a 3,000 watt. And if you can get a 4,000 watt for similar price, or not much more than a 3,000 watt, I really like the 4,000 watt. And here's why. So, 3,000 watt inverter here gets four transformers. Yes, my little girl made me this, so I need to wear it. And uh, this transformer, or this 4,000 watt inverter, has six transformers. So you, this is actually, if, if it's built like... They're using the full potential of the transformers. This is actually 4,500 watt uh, in comparison to 3,000. They have, let's see, do they have the same MOSFETs? I think they do. There's your MOSFETs there. There's your MOSFETs there. They look the same to me. It's them. And then, so, that's the input stage. Now we're going to spin this around. Spin this one around. Now, never mind this one. I modified this one. These are IGBTs. This is the output stage. It nor doesn't normally come with these. Uh, they're smaller MOSFETs. This is the input stage. This is uh, the diode, diode bridge. And then this is the output MOSFETs. Remember, these I added. This is an upgrade. And then this is... First off, look at this heat sink. Oh, crap. Look at the difference. It's huge. But they got, so this is input MOSFET, input, so these four are input. Then you got your diet, diode bridge here, and that ends right there. And look at all the output FETs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight output FETs. Wow, that's impressive. Versus this one has four output FETs. Oh. So, like I said before, I added those IGBTs. That's why they're so large. And that's an upgrade. If you ever want to upgrade your inverter, you can put those in it. Okay. So, got eight. So this is a pretty beefy inverter. Now, I don't know. This one, something did go wrong with it. And it blew uh, some fuses. That's why I got it. I, I don't really, I don't buy that many good inverters. I, I get a few, but I buy broken ones and I like to fix them. This one, this one uh, is the one I repaired with these, or upgraded, sorry, with these. It works. It's great. This one, at the moment, is not working. And all the uh, output FETs are good. Uh, a few of the input FETs are what is no good. So it looks like on this, the output stage is super powerful, and the input stage is what's slightly lacking. Because usually, when you have a blown up inverter, the output stage goes, and then it takes out the input stage. Because the output stage shorts out, then all of a sudden there's a short on the input stage, and then that's what kills the input and the output stage. So on these inverters, the 3000 watt, they only have half as many... Uh, um, MOSFETs on the output, but they have more than half as much uh, transformer power and, and more than half as much uh, here. So the weak point on the 3000 watt is the output stage, where the 4000 watt is the opposite. The strong part is the output stage, the weak part is the input stage. So it's very good, good to see this. So you can see just by looking at this, that this is not an actual 4000 watt. This is like a 4500 watt inverter in comparison to the 3000. So this one can can do 3000. I put 3000 watts in mine. It does do it. I don't know if it'll do it for continuous, but I've done it for like 5 minute periods around there. I wouldn't recommend doing it for too long. You wouldn't want something to superheat. Uh, this should be able to do 4500 watts for like that 5 five minutes or so as long as the board can take it I don't know if the board can handle it maybe that's why it's rated 4,000 watts I'm not sure 
But anyways, just from what I'm seeing, I really like it that it's actually underrated in comparison to the 3000 watt. Anyways, we're going to try and fix this thing and uh, go from there. Great guys, so I finished uh, soldering all this stuff in. Actually, except for, I not this one screw in, but I do that before I do the final test. Just a, a MOSFET screw. It's on there, good. Okay, so these two cords here, the two 1500 watt heaters, I'm just gonna put them in parallel with each other and use them to help start. Okay, so I guess I already, I already put power to this. I don't know if it's gonna turn on with AC power or not. Interesting, I won't turn on still. Hold on, is this down all the way? The one uh, has a switch. Uh, this the one outlet's a little burnt up. I'm just putting the one outlet in between the other one. One uh, heater obviously was plugged into an extension cord that couldn't handle the current. A lot of beeping sounds. I dare not hook it up without a load in between yet. Okay, what else can we get? I'm gonna get back to you guys. Well, I couldn't get enough current to actually turn this thing on, so now we're gonna use just a 10 amp fuse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it on here with my wire cutters, my strippers here. Okay. So I'm going to hold that on there. And I'm going to hit the switch and see what happens. What happened? I don't even know. I didn't. I can't see here. Let's see. I'll tell you guys. Holy oh, smokes, so, guys. She works. She lives. I got two 4,000 watt inverters now. This one's alive again. That's awesome. This one doesn't have any voltage issues as far as I know. The other one has a few voltage issues I'm gonna figure out. Okay. So, my soldering job is very subpar because I did everything from the surface. So I didn't have to take this thing apart because it's got a million screws on the bottom. And it's got these little spacers in between. Kind of a pain in the butt to take it apart and put it together. So I did what I could to get around it. And uh, she works. So let's uh, put it together. We'll put uh, some load on it. All right. Time for the load test. What we got under here are two 70 amp hour LiPo batteries. They're, they're three S each. They got a 60 amp BMS, which can do more for short periods of time. We're sitting at 24.6 volts on the batteries. We've got a 1500 watt heater here and we're just going to fire it up with no load first. There we go. So 115 volts. No weird sounds from the motor so it sounds like a good sine wave. And this is 500 watts. Putting out heat, there's a thousand watts. And there's, oh, sorry, never mind. The first one was 750, the second one was 1500. So this is 1500 watts running here. Looks like we got a working inverter. I'm not going to test this for long because these batteries are not going to, or the BMS on these batteries are not going to like it. So we're back on to just fan. Awesome.